Greetings, it's Panu from VLSI once again, uh, giving you a brief unscripted video demonstrating a new VS1010 product demo example application, which is an FM radio plus SD card uh, MP3 player, USB memory stick, SD, uh, USB memory stick uh, MP3 player, uh, line input, USB DAC, USB mass storage, and uh, with seven segment LCD display drive. So it's ridiculously low cost for a device with such capabilities. Here's another PCB. Um, let me show you the other side. Uh, it's empty, except for this resistor, which just wanted to come to the board. And then there is a place for an external I2S ADC, because this beauty is a real, real exercise in optimization. So on the board, there's very, very few ICs. The main IC here is the VS1010 and apart from that there are uh, not very many. Here is um, an SPI flash uh, for loading firmware. Uh, then there is a TEA5767 uh, FM radio module. Uh, then there are two dual-channel um, operational amplifiers, which are optional. They are used to optimize the sound quality, um, the signal range coming from the FM receiver and from the lining, so that it is at precisely the best level for reading in using the VS1010's internal ADC converters. So this device really does a lot without any external ICs. Uh, the LCD is driven using just signals, GPIO signals from the VS1010. And um, the buttons, there is one button per each segment of the, the LCD. So there is uh, 11 buttons plus power button and a reset button in here, which is nice. So the LCD display, let me show you. Uh, it is custom designed LCD display for this application. The cost is something like 0 0.5 USD or even less in large quantities. And uh, the drive uh, method, is optimized for driving with uh, microcontroller pins. So there are four commons and uh, 11 segments, giving it 15 pins total. And, and, and the display is, is really optimized for, for this purpose. Although it can be used for other purposes, if, if you can think of something, something like maybe MP3 player, ebook, something like that. I don't know. You can get these LCDs from, from uh, VLSI in sample quantities or in large quantities you can contact the manufacturer, manufacturer directly. We have a few boxes of them, so we can have some to spare. Okay, so next, let me demonstrate the functionality. Uh, here, it is now running in uh, FM radio mode. So I can fine tune the frequency here. And let me show you, there is uh, some the spe uh, some speaker connected here. I don't want to risk a content match, so I'm not going to play so much of it. 
maybe just a little. There are five memory locations. One, two, three, four, five. And um, setting for setting stereo or mono mode. Then there is a volume control and uh, the frequency control. Mm -hmm. Next is uh, line input. Sorry, this one. This uh, first button is the mode select. So let's select input one. And then I can play some music from the line in. And um, the music comes from my PC here, which is playing uh, some song. And then there is the output here coming to the line in. And I can tell you that the internal SAR um, analog to digital converter is not a source of noise in this system. Everything in everything else in, in this system, like the PC, has, has more noise than the SIR input. So we've used some clever software trickery and filtering to get the maximum maximum uh, sound quality from the internal ADC of the VS1010. Even though it's not technically graded as a hi-fi ADC, you can still get something like 15 bits uh, of 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 uh, dynamic range or not really sure about the SNR, but it's really very very good. It is good enough for anything with speakers like stereos or car stereos, FM radios, this and that. No problem whatsoever. Then there is uh, another input. Here in the in the board, there's just a couple of couple of extra connections here. Um, basically, if you want to add some other analog input like Bluetooth module or something like that, you can then you can connect it to these pins. Next, uh, there is uh, next mode would be um, USB DAC. And um, let me switch on the volume, and uh, I press uh, play, and stop, and play, and stop on the PC, and it says uh, DAC point one when it's receiving something from the USB, and. Uh, just DAC when it's it's not receiving, so you can see whether it's supposed to be playing you something or not. Uh, then the next mode no would be SD card player, and in the SD card player you can see it's now indexing 20,000 MP3 songs, and it does that in something like six or seven seconds, and. Uh, it does not use any external memory. Uh, it does the indexing inside the VS1010 memory. It uses mathematics instead of memory. There's a clever algorithm. Basically, instead of uh, storing 20,000 index points, we just store uh, a few hundred index points into key locations in the um, in the SD card, and that. If, if we store like 200 index points, then theoretically it would cut the mean indexing time or mean file opening time by 99.5%. And it does something like that. So um, it first indexes uh, the storage, the SD card or the flash, and then it can open any song in like milliseconds and it, it uh, indexes them by uh, their folder and file names in alphabetical order. Then there is also a USB mass storage mode for transferring files into the um, into into the the SD card from from your PC. And then the final thing that I'm gonna show you would be the USB host. 
Oh, sorry. No, it's doing the SD card indexing. Okay, sorry. USB host. Uh, now it detects uh, correctly that there is no flash in the in the USB. So let me take this away. For connecting uh, with the PC, I'm using a USB A to A cable. So this this kind of cable here. Another option is to switch these jumpers to the uh, other location towards the mini connector and then you can use the mini cable for connecting to the PC and the large A connector for connecting the USB flash. And now it has detected the USB flash and it's, it's playing from the USB flash. So, FM radio, line in, another line in, oh, D-class amplifier for driving external speakers. SD card, MP3 play, uh, USB flash, MP3 play, USB mass storage, and USB DAC, all with a budget of, I don't know, a few dollars. A couple of dollars for the ICs, another dollar for the display, and then the rest is just mechanics. I have no idea of their cost. But there you go. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.